So, this is about what makes us sick. Um, we are so extraordinary as beings and as I said, we are perfect when we come into this world. So what makes us sick? It's the external forces of everything around us. And that's everyone in community, society, what's built up to be, which is not reality. It's all a wee bubble um, of control and fitting into that control so you feel a part of something because you feel like a place if you're alone because you get taken away from who you are and you realize and if you realized you're never alone when you see the spiritual side of things and realize who you really are and the mind that controls you you're connected to everyone and everything but we get caught up in external forces and people's happenings and society and what's happening in society and everything is shown in a negative form it never gets shown in a positive form for every positive form that there is showing there's a negative to it that is put out there but the positive is showing as if they're trying to help you yet the negative is put there with the multiple negativity that's put there so your positive don't mean nothing to that negativity because there's so much of it and as I said before your negativity is alright when one's coming on one piece of negativity like a negative word on a positive word, a positive would overpower that negative in a, at ease. But if you've only got a wee bit of positivity being fed to you and everything else is on a negative term, well then you're gonna live off that negative term. And you're gonna live that way. And it's what people do. You fit into society. When you grow up, or as you're growing up, you go to school, you're taught that you need to go to school to get an education, to go to work, not through. Um, the, you need to work uh, to have a home and get married and have children and that's the family life and that's how you live life and then that is not true. That's only part of life uh, and there's so much more to life. but get taken away through the external forces everything that's happening out in the community uh, in society and before you know it we are stressed over everything and we've no need to be the stress isn't even ours we get stressed over things that surround us that has nothing to do with us and anything that has something to do with us, we've put ourselves in that position to fit in with that negativity. Whether it be a job, for example, and you're not happy in that job, or you're not happy with the boss or the people you work with, well, you put yourself there. And you were drawn into that by your circumstances, how you fit into them circumstances. Instead of following your heart, you follow the thoughts that if I do this, I will fit in like everyone else and then I will be looked at as part of that something. Part of society, part of the community. And then you feel slightly fulfilled. You get one your needs are fulfilled. Where you feel a part of something. We feel that people love you for that that there's that part of you where you're seeking for acceptance and when you're fitting into something you feel accepted but, but you don't realize you're accepted anyway doesn't matter 
what you're thinking is what matters. It's your view that you feel that you're not fitting into something. And that is only your perspective of things. But you're looking at it on a negative perspective. And why? Because you've programmed yourself that way through everything that's around you. Society. Your community. Your peers. What are all they doing? The same thing that you done. Went to work, got the job, got the family. Lived the life. And nothing more. So dull, boring. If that's you and you're happy, so be it. I'm happy for you that you can be happy with just that. But if you're not happy and you're sitting watching this and you're looking for more, well why are you not going and get it? Maybe you are going and get it. Maybe you started to try to go and get it. And I just say keep on that path. And don't let external forces take you away from it. Follow your heart. Nothing else is more important than your own heart. And what you want. What you desire. And when you get that, everything else just fits in place. It would be just great then and everything else would feel that vibration coming from you because you will be so happy inside and you will spread that happiness. And then people will pick it up off you and send it back to you. That's just how it is. Um, as I see it more so myself now, every day that I be practicing and keeping at it, being on a positive side of things, and as I said in the past, some days it can be hard. Um, but most days now it's just like a regular thing and uh, it's just me. And I'm enjoying life, enjoying where I'm going, where I'm taking things. When I see something that's maybe slightly coming on to influence me in a negative side, I'm aware of it and I know when to do or what to do to take over that. Switch it round into positive thinking. Or, if that's not overcoming anything, I do something that's positive for me. And it's that simple. I think of me, so I can think of others. Because if I think of others, I won't really truly feel that, if I'm not feeling it within myself. I'd be wearing a mask, hiding behind somebody that I'm not. Being fake. which a lot of people are. And not through their fault or any fault of their own, all through happenings and surroundings that's there. Uh, through media, through society, just fitting in place. The want, the magnetism of wanting to fit in, to be like everyone, to be the best, to feel that you are appreciated, that you are loved, that you are cared for, that people respect you and want to be like you, you want to be a leader, will be a leader and follow your heart. And then people will love you and people will care for you. And as I say, I see it every day more so when I'm practicing this myself. What I do know is, and I used to hate people, I mean like hate people, I have my best friend say to me, do you like anybody? And I thought, you know, there's not many that I do like. At this time, this is years ago. And now I can turn around and say that, like, I don't have any feeling towards people other than wanting to send out love to them, no matter who they are, uh, in a good way. And if I thought they're in a bad sense, if negativity are on that path, I just stay away from it. But I don't see them as a bad person. I just see them caught up in whatever they're caught up in. And that's it. I was there myself. Some people can't be helped. They need to help themselves. And something bad, and a lot of the time, it just needs to happen before you, you can just switch on. It just needs to happen that way for you to have a realisation and it's a shame that things do happen that way and that's how deep the programme is into you, everybody. It's got so much control on you um, but as I say, keeping with the whole positivity, I find that people now, the more I look at people, People are so loving and caring and they want to help each other. 
there is so much love out there if you're looking for it but you have to have that focus and thought and looking in that direction now obviously there's going to be ones that's going to be an obstacle for you an obstruction where you need to pass by and that's just life there's obstacles all the time and that's the moment that you're really going to succeed getting by them points um, when they happen and you can get by that the fulfillment within you is so much more than fitting into circumstances doing what all others do because you want to feel appreciated or loved or cared for be yourself fit into yourself your mind's designed you in a way that you've picked up from society because you've produced that from the workings of your body and how you've seen and recorded everything in your subconscious mind of your upbringing of your peers and the, as I say the circumstances community society and it's became you with your control over the mind uh, taking that power with the body but deep down consciously if you use your mind you can overpower the body and reprogram the subconscious because all it is in the subconscious is a programming that you've placed there through all your knowings and can be changed with new teachings more knowledge being aware of who you really are and not everything that's out there uh, that's got you so confused and uh, it's easy for me to say because I'm there past that crap and got out of it and understand it now and uh, what I've seen is too uh, uh, people that have noticed are known uh, and even on my Facebook and that uh, have started dropping um, like flies I would say on a wall just dying is how I'd say it is they don't see the reality of things uh, and um, when I start saying stuff like I'm coming out with the truth, I'm being honest, I'm being totally honest down to a T and everyone knows me that knows me knows I'm honest in that sense, but in a sense where if I'm being so honest that someone could get hurt, um these people drop off because they're scared in case I say something that may affect them. I have no intentions of hurting anybody but I know it I spoke to people outside of in person on the phone and different happenings and I noticed the pattern of things um, and it's pretty funny in a way for me not for them because it's a shame that they have to drop off uh, because of beliefs that they've brought to themselves and leave themselves in pain it's a shame because all I want to do is help people uh, I hate to see anybody in pain but if you're gonna hide away from the truth the reality of everything and that's all the circumstances that you brought come up with and live with if you can't deal with your own issues in the physical side of life you're never gonna truly be happy you're never gonna get past anything you're not gonna get to where you want or where you desire to be you gotta put it all on the table and let it go not care about the past and what's happened but if you're gonna run and hide then you're worried You've got a fear of the physical world and the happenings in it, what's happened or what hasn't happened. 
and how it could affect you because you look at it in a physical way and you can't get by that don't be one of these people follow your heart anything that you've done wrong or anything in life just know that that's the past it don't matter what you've done you've got to kill somebody for all I care I'm not saying go out and tell anybody if you did it or didn't but I would like to hope that you didn't but what I'm saying is it really doesn't matter what you've done in the world because whatever happens when you leave this world you still carry on the same path obviously uh, I'd hope that you'd be carrying on in the path of love and not in a negative form because if you're carrying it on in a negative form you really won't get anywhere after this life but start another life to be another disaster and you're going to feel that pain yourself so I do suggest you follow the love side of things um, I was only saying about if you kill someone or something or something nasty you still go through the same pattern of things um, from the mind in the body back to the mind but when you're in that negativity uh, and you don't get clear awakening and awareness of your conscious self of your spiritual being well then all you do is go and transform into another being until you do become aware of it and then you can eventually go back to being the mind and stop being trapped in the body well this gives you more of an understanding of energy the mind the awareness opening up everything and if you like these videos click the link below uh, hit subscribe and hit the bell uh, thank you for watching much appreciated and that's it just hit subscribe click the bell thank you